Oh, what's shaking, y'all? It's Josie from La Cologne Coffee Roasters, and I just did a little bit of shopping for a whole lot of milk. It's gonna be a pleasure to walk you through the joys of milk and espresso. But you can't really make your lattes or your cappuccinos or whatnot until you know how to milk. All right, let's get at it. Uh, today, we are going to be talking not just about coffee, but about milk. But not just milk, the interplay between milk and espresso. All right, y'all, everybody's got their favorite kind of milk. You know, there's a few different options from the cow, whether it be whole milk or non-fat. There are also a rainbow of alternative milks nowadays. The beautiful juxtaposition of milk and espresso is really the foundation of most of your favorite drinks. So now that we've entered the world of espresso and milk, we need to talk about how we properly texturize milk and steam it. So uh, we're gonna have to cruise on over to the espresso machine. All right, y'all, let me introduce you to your new best friend, the espresso machine. Now we're not going to bother ourselves too much with the brewing side of the machine right now. We're going to concern ourselves with this knob and this one and the sort of interplay between the two. Now you always want to purge your steam while before and after you steam your milk. You want to fill the milk up to about the bottom of the spout. First you're aerating milk or texturizing it. What we do is we're pushing the milk around into a whirlpool, stretching it, and there's this hissing crackle sound. We're gonna stretch the milk or add more volume. Once we have the volume to where we would like it, we submerge the wand all the way in the milk continues into a whirlpool, and then once it's too hot to handle, your milk's probably pretty much done. Always make sure you clear your steam up. Now when texturizing milk for foamier drinks, you're gonna wanna count the drink's name while stretching. Cappuccino, macchiato. Now for a less foamy drink, say a latte or a cortado, we want the milk to be like wet paint. You don't need to stretch the milk for as many beats. Latte, flat white. Now that you know how to properly steam milk, it's time to mix it with some espresso magic. Those two ingredients, milk and espresso, are responsible for a wide array of drinks. So we have the latte, which means milk in Italian. The cappuccino, which means coffee made with milk in Italian. The macchiato, which means marked coffee. You mark the espresso with milk. The cortado, which means cut off in Spanish because it's espresso cut with steamed milk. Flat white, with the same size as a cappuccino, less foamy milk. Great milk takes time. You gotta practice. No one just start pouring beautiful lattes the day that they learn how to aerate milk. All right, y'all, thanks for joining me in the Bowery today. Now why don't you go out and aerate some milk?